Hey, it's Nathan with CrazyMarketing.com. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can set up your Facebook or Meta Pixel, so that way you can track people visiting your website, opting in, buying things, etc. So that way you can optimize your advertising efforts and also make sure that you're keeping track of everything appropriately. Now I'm going to assume that you've already set up a data set within your business manager. If you haven't done that yet, link in the description down below, I have a video all about the business manager and how to set up that data set. So go watch that first and make sure you have a data set, assuming you have a data set, what we want to do is we want to come to this menu right here and go to all tools and we want to go to events manager. Now on the left hand menu we want to go ahead and click on data sources right here and click over here and you want to click on the data set that you've set up. So I set up the CEM training data set previously so I'm going to click on this and then what I want to do is I want to scroll on down here to set up Metapixel and we'll click on this button right here and now you could go ahead and install the pixel manually by clicking this option right here or you could use a partner integration and I guess that this would be easier honestly I've never done a partner integration I've always done it manually so I'm going to go ahead and do that in this video but if you're feeling frisky or something and you want to try doing a partner integration go for it but we'll click on this option right here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click on copy code and it gives us some information. So paste the base code to a website and you wanna put it in the head tag of your website. But for my case right here, I'm just gonna open up a notepad and I'm gonna paste my pixel code right in here. And so this is the pixel code and right here is actually your pixel ID. So if you're using a plugin or something to install your pixel, this is the pixel ID that you would use for your plugin. But I'm gonna move this over real quick and we'll click on continue here. And now it asks if we wanna turn on automatic advanced matching. And you can read this description right here, but basically it makes your tracking much better. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that on. And then you can go ahead and verify the customer information that you wanna send. And so depending on your jurisdiction, you might be limited on what you can capture. And also you might need to update your privacy policy or terms of service, depending on what you're sending over. So just be mindful that you're not breaking any laws or anything like that. But I'm gonna leave everything selected and click on continue and then it tells us about the event setup tool and I'm gonna have another video on it so I'll link in the description down below for the time being I'm go ahead, going to go ahead and click on go to pixel overview alrighty so now to install the pixel of course we could go ahead and copy and paste this into the head of our website so depending on what platform you're using you might be able to do that or there might be plugins like for me personally I'm using WordPress in this example and there's a plugin that I really like, which is Pixel Your Site. So I'm gonna go ahead and install it real quick and show you how you can add your Pixel to this plugin so that we can track people on your website. So it's called Pixel Your Site. And it's this one right here. Now the reason I like it is because it also works with Google Analytics and a few other pixels as well. And it lets you track conversions like leads and purchases. And it just makes everything really easy because it's all in the same plugin. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and click on install now and then I'll go ahead and activate it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and navigate to it on the left-hand side and click on it. And we'll scroll on down here to pixel ID. So we see the option for your meta pixel or formerly Facebook pixel. We'll click on click here for settings. And I'm gonna go ahead and slide the enable advanced matching over because remember I just turned that on when I set up my pixel. And then it's asking me for my pixel ID. So again, that's that code right here or this string of numbers. So we'll copy this right here and we'll paste it here. Now there's also a conversion API that I'll have another video on. And what the conversion API does is it sends events back over to Facebook or Meta. And that's in case like your Facebook pixel isn't firing for some reason. Like if somebody has an ad blocker, it could be blocking the pixel. However, your events could still be sent over API and that way you could still track people even if they're doing something to block your Facebook pixel. But anyway, we're focused on the Facebook pixel in this video, so I'm gonna go ahead and scroll to the bottom and we'll go ahead and click on save settings right here. And now let me go ahead and pop open my website and let's see if the pixel is firing. So I'll come over to it. And so here's my site and I'm looking for my meta pixel helper right here. So I'm gonna open this up. I can see that this Facebook pixel ID fired off as a page view event. And if I look at my code right here, my pixel is the same number, so 354. 354, 2488, 2488. So it looks like my pixel is properly installed and firing. And this brings me to another point. So the Meta Pixel Helper, I recommend you go ahead and install it on your browser. It's just a browser extension that's free and it lets you see what events are being fired on your website via your Meta Pixel. And that way you can troubleshoot any issues or anything like that. So anyway, it looks like my pixel is properly installed on my website. And so the next thing you probably wanna do is go ahead and set it up to track conversions. And there's a couple different ways to do it. You can use the event setup tool or you can do standard events. 
And I'm gonna have some separate videos for those two different methods. And that's because there's just so many different ways you can go ahead and track events. And it depends on what type of software you're using. Like I'm using WordPress here, but if you're using a different platform, setting up different events could be completely different unless you use the event setup tool. But anyway, links in the description on setting up conversion tracking. And that's it for this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, I appreciate it. Sorts of likes, comments, subscribes, and or head over to Crazy Eye Marketing. And I hope you have a great rest of the day.